you take 20,000 breaths per day. You're consuming as much air to fill up a normal sized swimming pool. So when you think about it from this perspective, it is really, really important that you're breathing the cleanest air possible. Look, it might surprise you when I tell you this, but Costco is probably one of my favorite places on this planet. Seriously, I mean, I'm the type of guy that has to walk up and down every single aisle, just in awe of what, what might I find today. But there's one thing in particular I will not buy from Costco. Can you guess what it is? It's an air purifier. Costco typically carries brands like Shark, Dyson. They're amazing brands. I mean, they make amazing vacuums. I love their vacuums. But you know what I don't love that they make? Air purifiers. They're just not very good. Now the problem with air purifiers is a lot of them boast this technology, this standard that they follow that was invented in 1940s. You may have heard it, it's called HEPA, high efficiency particle air filtration. Look, I, I want you to be clear about the problem with these air purifiers from big box stores. Besides the fact that it's from the 1940s, the standards that they use, they're just not removing a small of enough particle. A lot of these big box stores, they're focused on all these bells and whistles that we actually don't need in our air purification devices like Wi-Fi and apps and I can look at all these different things. All I care about in an air purifier is how small of a particle can it remove and how efficient is it removing it at that size particle. So for example, can it remove a particle as small as one micron? Yes. Well, what percentage of the time? because at 95% efficiency, it's removing a particle of that size 95% of the time. That means only 5% is blowing, blowing through the filter. But what happens when that filter is at like 60%? Sure, it might put on the box, this is great for mold. But when you actually look into the details, it's letting mold bypass it 60% of the time. Is that really good for mold? Not in my book. So the key is, I want an affordable air purifier that's gonna remove the smallest particle possible at the highest efficiency possible. Anything else that it does, bells and whistles, I don't care about. The only other thing that you may wanna consider is something that has what's called a charcoal filter. And that's because charcoal is great for absorbing things like VOCs. Well, if I just freshly painted my house if I just bought a bunch of furniture, I might have a lot of VOCs off-gassing into my environment that a charcoal filter might be really beneficial to help soak up. One of my favorite air purifiers is called the IntelliPure. They make one with this disinfecting DFS technology that makes the filter last longer. It's electronically charged. It's capturing tiny particles. It's a high efficiency filter. And guess what? I see that thing on sale almost all the time for like 150 bucks or less. I mean, it doesn't have to be expensive to, to be good. And I think a lot of us are programmed to buy the most expensive one we see at the big box store with the big brand name on it. And it's garbage compared to something that's half the price or a quarter of the price. That's why I think it's really important that you know how to look for a filter that traps the smallest particle possible high efficiency possible. What I really love about the IntelliPure line is they've got a filter for small spaces, obviously more compact, more affordable. They've got filters for larger spaces called the Ultrafine. This is great, same technology. Again, removes smaller particles, higher efficiency. They've got different options for different size spaces that you're looking for, depending on if you're renting or you're owning and how big your house is, et cetera, et cetera. I encourage you to go to homecleanse.com and go to the home cleanse shop because a lot of the stuff that I recommend is honestly cheap compared to all these other things out there that aren't even effective. So please go onto the shop. It's products that I've curated myself that I've been working with for years that I've tested myself. I know works. I think you would really enjoy going there and saving a few bucks and not, you know, buying things that are ineffective. Okay, the benefits of investing in a higher quality filter is breathing better quality air. I mean, you take 20,000 breaths per day. You're consuming as much air to fill up a normal sized swimming pool. So when you think about it from this perspective, it is really, really important 
that you're breathing the cleanest air possible. How do you do that? Well, obviously air purifiers, good quality, high grade air purifiers, that's one way. Keeping the house clean, cleaning all the time, removing dust because dust contains things like mold and bacteria. That's gonna be crucial. Air purifiers help out with the cleaning aspect, by the way, because as they're removing dust that's aerosolized, less is falling to the floor or on surfaces that you're having to clean and, and remove. But it is really, really important you're following these steps and air purification should be a part of the strategy. Thank you.